Welcome to the Rise of Immortals Immortal Spotlight. Today, we will be evaluating one of our newest tournament entrants, Creed the Elementalist. Creed is an energy-based melee character who excels at dealing heavy area effect damage at close range. Complementing this ability-based damage role is Creed's Primal System. Whenever Creed casts a basic ability, he gains a Primal Charge, and when he has two charges, Creed's next basic ability will be Primal. Primal abilities have added effects and are more powerful than their non-primal forms. Creed's itemization should be tailored to suit his needs as a melee sustained damage dealer. At the beginning of the game, purchase bearskin boots. As the game progresses, Creed can improve his ability's damage by purchasing items like Torpid's Wand, Assassin's Dirk, Belt of Power, Bloodstone Pendant, and Penman Reflector to improve his survivability. Creed's first basic ability is Fiery Dance. Creed creates a vortex of fire around himself, which deals physical damage to nearby enemies. The primal form causes a secondary fire explosion at the end of the duration, which deals significant additional damage. Fiery Dance is Creed's first ability and provides the largest contribution to his sustained damage during prolonged engagements. The primal form of this ability adds a significant damage bonus at the end of the duration that greatly improves Creed's overall damage output. Fiery Dance is the only one of Creed's abilities with a primal form that improves the damage it deals and should be used whenever pure damage is the highest priority. Creed's second basic ability is Stone Edge. Creed launches a vector-based projectile, which deals physical damage to all enemies it hits in a line. The primal form causes the wave of rocks to stun all targets it hits. Stone Edge can be a very powerful damage dealing and disabling ability, but because the travel time on the projectile is so long, enemies can easily dodge this ability at maximum range. In order to mitigate this weakness, try to make sure the enemy is close enough to guarantee the impact. Creed's third basic ability is Glaciate. Creed teleports to the target position while releasing ice blasts from his initial and final location. These blasts deal damage and cause a degrading slow on all enemies hit. The primal form of this ability leaves behind frozen ground at both locations that slows all enemies who walk inside. Glaciate is Creed's most versatile ability. This ability can effectively be used as an escape mechanism, gap closer, or melee range burst damage. When using this ability, be sure to remember that it deals damage twice, and those damage zones can be stacked up if you teleport close to where you already are, or they can be spread out to provide the most coverage with the slow. The primal form leaves behind a very strong slow, which is good at blocking narrow choke points during teamfights or chases. Creed's ultimate ability is Mirror Move. Creed casts the ability at a target location, which sends a spectral image of himself running towards the targeted point. After initially launching the image, Creed can reactivate the ability to begin zooming towards the image's current location. Mirror Move allows Creed to exert his influence on the game across a significant portion of the map and can allow Creed to reach battles that he normally would not be able to attend in time. The capability to turn 4v4s into 5v4s in record time is incredibly powerful, and higher ranks improve this ability's range and even his basic ability's energy costs. Creed's signature ability is Ancient Power. The Elementalist is cleansed and receives a bonus based on the element chosen. During this time, none of his basic abilities cost energy and are always cast in the primal form. The Fire Form imbues the Elementalist with the strength of a raging fire, granting him bonus damage to all of his skills. Earth Form sheaths the Elementalist in Earth Armor that blocks a large amount of damage and refreshes periodically. Water Form unleashes the force of a freezing typhoon, slowing all nearby enemies' movement and attack speeds while increasing their ability cooldowns by a significant portion. Air Form allows the Elementalist to merge with the air itself, becoming immune to standard crowd control effects and increasing his movement speed dramatically. Creed scales very well with increased tactical level throughout the game and should be sent to solo the middle lane if possible to maximize this advantage. During teamfights, try to maximize the impact of each primal ability and always adapt to the situation. Are the enemies lined up? Use Primal Stone Edge. Everybody is grouped up? Use Primal Fiery Dance. Trying to escape the enemies? Use Primal Glaciate. 
Because Creed's damage is based primarily on his abilities, they will be the focus of the champion tree while leveling up. After getting the important points in the champion tree, Creed should improve his survivability by investing in the defense discipline tree. For Creed's artifacts, focus on bonus health, armor penetration, cooldown reduction, and energy increases to improve his casting capabilities. And that concludes this week's Immortal Spotlight. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon! To learn more about Rise of Immortals, visit signup.riseofimmortals.com to download and play the game today for free.